Well, first of all, Jeremy, congratulations on owning such a good dog. Uh, and thanks to Richard, really, because it, it wasn't in the plan for you to buy any more greyhounds, was it? No, far from it. It was completely opposite. I didn't want any more. Um, I had enough. Um, Charlie and Richard sort of seemed to really rate this dog. Um, phoned me up at half past ten at night. Um, must have meant it was something special. And watched a couple of vids of it. it seemed all right. I was still reluctant. Spoke to my missus and she said, oh, go on if you want it. Following day, phoned up. So go on, go for it, you know, which gives me a great thrill to turn around and say that every time and that's it. And here he is. He's had <laughs> just the five races for you and he literally hasn't put a paw wrong yet, has he? That's the most incredible thing for a dog that, you know, to get some get a dog that's come over like he did so soon and you just think, what's going on? It's, it's just very, very surreal, to be honest with you. It really, really is. But you, it's what you said, he has not put a foot wrong. So really, we just don't know what he can do. You know, and hopefully he can get better. He seems to absolutely love Nottingham, but unfortunately in his quarterfinal he's been drawn trap five. I'm not sure what idiot did that, but no, I mean, uh, he's in five. Um, a lot of people saying, obviously, far from ideal for the dog. You've never seen him, even out of three, let alone four or five now. What do you think he'll do, and, and how, are you unhappy with it? I was. Um, I was very unhappy with it um, at first because, obviously, you suddenly think everyone just said, it's got to be one and two, got to be one and two. Thinking about it, I'm quite... Um, I'm glad he's not gone in three and four now. Um, I'm, you know, with the railers. I think, I personally think, he will hear the hair earlier and he'll come out. And hopefully, if he's trapped anywhere near as well, I think he'll come out straight. I seriously do. And then coming round the bend, he'll probably cut in like most dogs do. But other than that, I just, you know, um, I've got, I've got real faith in the dog. It's a different derby this year because of the situation in the world and certainly in the country. Does it mean any less to you to be in a derby quarterfinal? No. This, this is something I have dreamt about for 17 years, 78 years since I've been while well, I've been in the kennel. Wanted to do it, tried to do it. Um, and for it to happen this year, it just it means no difference at all. It just it is so important to me and for the kennel to have a dog like this, knowing we've got a chance. You know, for everybody involved, all the other owners, we can chat about it, talk about it. it. It's fantastic. No, it is just as important as what it could, it would ever be with the more dogs and in a different situation. You're enjoying it? Absolutely. My heart's not. It drives me mad. I, uh, my heart rate it does no good for my heart rate at all on a Saturday night when he runs. And when it's over, it's a great feeling and it's a double whammy. I feel good and also I'm ecstatic about the dog. And he takes me, it took me three and a half hours to get to sleep Saturday night. So, uh, no, no, it's, uh, it's just unbelievably brilliant, fabulous feeling. Loving every second of it.